everybody, I'm Michael, and today I am playing Puzzle Agent 2. This game, obviously, is the sequel to Puzzle Agent. I did a walkthrough for that game. So the, the story is basically, uh, Nelson Tethers, he works for the FBI's Department of Puzzles. He was sent to Scoggins, Minnesota to solve a mystery at the Eraser Factory. And, and there were gnomes and outer space and, and strange things. And a kidnapping, too. But the good news is he was able to save the factory. Hooray! Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... Oh, the moon! Is it alive? Hmm. Okay, well, we're, we're starting off with the puzzle. Can Nelson see unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings of the scope until each ring is locked in a place and there are no duplicates. That's what it said, right? No duplicates? Okay... Okay, how do I rotate the rings? Sort of like this. No, I need to move the green things to rotate the rings. Gotcha. Whoa! I got something correct. It looks like. Let's rotate the outer ring then. I... Hmm. Okay, the game is not letting me move any of these rings, so let's make sure there are no symbols repeating in any row. It doesn't look like there are, so let's say that's the solution. Submit. Focuser. Woo! Yep, I'm a top agent. How? How do we solve it? Well, here's the solution. Why is there a hidden person on the moon? Is it a figment of Nelson's imagination? The hidden people! That's what we call those living garden gnomes. They're strange. Clearly, clearly I need to go back and continue investigating this mystery figure out what's going on. Eraser Factory is back open, even though Foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed. But there's a missing person! We've got to save him. What are you going to do, Nelson? You're going to make the right decision. What? Who is that? Ingram? Oh, hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. Uh, Ingram, were you just checking out my desk? How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Taro murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle division! Wow! Uh, it was not as amazing as you might think. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. Yeah, I, I did a good job. Oh, looks like we can talk to him about vegetable crimes again. Let's do it. Jim, puzzle division isn't that exciting. Come on, Nelson. You were out of the office a whole week. Well, it was a week, but why are you trespassing? So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah, about that. I apparently have competition. Whoa, puzzle number 320? That's... Are there 320 puzzles in this game? This walkthrough is going to take forever. Okay, can I solve this four dragon puzzle? What's the next number in the sequence? Okay. 11, 12, 1, and 2. 
four. I wonder why four is in scare quotes. Hmm. The next number in the sequence. Eleven? I don't see any sequence unless it's like... Unless we're going into negative numbers and that's clearly not what we have. I'm going to need a hint. I'll use a hint. Oh, I only have six hints. Oh, boy. The pattern seems to reset after hitting 12. Okay. I, um... Yeah, that's not helpful. It's not helpful in the slightest. Let's use another hint. Okay. What goes from 1 to 12 before starting over? Um... I have no idea. A, a box of eggs? But would that mean 3 is the next one? Ah! It's the hours of a clock. So the four dragons thing had nothing... Four has nothing to do with this puzzle. Gotcha! Okay, so it's three. And you'll notice I, I will not get like ten stars for this puzzle. I will get not many stars on this puzzle. Because I'm going to get one star, right? Because I, I only get one star. Oh, four stars. Cool. Because I use three hints. Nice try, Jim, but you see here... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost... Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm gonna be taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through vegetable crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. We're giving him our busy work? The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory foreman is still missing. Has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I found Isaac Dowder and got to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Dun, dun, dun. Awesome! Okay, back to the scene of the crime. And I see some gum in the window. As you saw earlier, gum is used as a hint. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. Ah, there's Bjorn. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. He's spying on you, dude. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. So I found some gum. Ooh, there's some gum up there, too. Where's the gum? There's some gum. Awesome. There's some gum as well. It's hard to find the gum. You need to click uh, in a specific location to find it. Mm, looks like it disappears. So I guess that's something where, like, you know, if you click next to the gum but don't actually click the gum, the game does not accept it. And you'll notice we've got the touchscreen interface, so... Whenever I click somewhere, it shows uh, everything I can interact with. Let's go inside. Nice, there's some gum on the wall there, too. Oh my, Mr. Agent Tethers. Yes, I have returned. Returned for more puzzles. What's this? Is it another puzzle? Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. Guess he did not like solving that puzzle in the first game, huh? What happened to your statues of gnomes? I kind of miss the wooden gnome collection, Ms. Garrett. Made the whole place seem creepier. Hmm. 
Very creepy. Okay, let's let's stop putting off the conversation. Let's talk to her. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Yes. Just a personal trip, not business. Let's ask about gum. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm, I'll be on the lookout for it. Okay, let's ask about the uh, hot dish. She makes hot dish. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Ooh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. Okay, she seems incredibly evasive there. Is there a reason she's not sharing hot dish with me? Because I want some hot dish. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Oh. Hmm. She's definitely hiding something. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no. Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Yeah, yeah, somebody's definitely warned her to be on the lookout for me. I bet it was, uh, oh, no spoilers, no spoilers, but uh, I bet it was one of those nasty people that, that was mean to me in the previous game. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no, oh dear, uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah, lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. Martha claims she's booked all the rooms. Can you figure out room assignments that satisfy everyone's requests? And leaves a spare room. Sure we can. So this looks super duper complicated. Let's see those rules again. Okay, so six rooms, three on each floor. So Maxwell's above Ms. LaRue. Okay, Maxwell above LaRue. And then Dimpleton does not want to have more men than women. go with that so far is that let's just say that Templeton and LaRue are on the same floor that way there are more women than men Blessin and Carlman always get rooms on the same floor I think that might be it I'm gonna double check to make sure those rules work okay Maxwell is above LaRue gotcha Miss Templeton is on a floor with more women than men yep seems to be the case uh, Mr. Blessing and Mr. Carlman always get rooms on the same floor. Yeah, looks good. Let's go. Let's go for it. <laughs> Woo! Alright. Finding vacancy. No hints. No wrong answers. 10 out of 10. A plus. Top agent. It looks like there's a room available. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being, uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. The, the other thing. Bedbugs? Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bedbugs. 
It's, uh, uh, painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Mm, yeah. She's definitely hiding something. And I don't think go outside in this case means go in that door there. So let's just go outside. It's snowing. It's cold. Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide some. That sounded like a gunshot. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to investigate. But what if it's one of those creatures? What if one of those creatures... Okay, there's gum... Here. Yeah, alright. Okay, the other gum piece was... Here. Nice! Okay, made up for my failure earlier on in this video. Let's go inside. Let's check out this alley. <laughs> Sounds evil. <laughs> Oh, it's just the door. Yeah, because doors make those noises. Oh, hi! Woman who was very mean to me earlier, making up obvious lies. Why are you suddenly friendly? And now she gave me a bedroom? What is this? I don't... Okay. I'm a little confused. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. Mm. But that... Oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Okay, so she tried to sneak him in through the back door. I guess in case somebody was watching that way... You know, if somebody is watching, they would hear that she got rid of him. She doesn't want people to know that she let him inside. Oh. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the Eraser Factory. Mm -hmm. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night. If I'm murdered in my sleep, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Okay, confirmed. It's a spaceman. No, spaceman. Oh, he's oh, got a letter for me. I don't quite know what's up with that spaceman. I know I was in outer space for a bit of the previous game, but I think that was a weird dream sequence. Or was it reality? Isaac Davner huh? does not exist. But he does! We saw him get kidnapped! I... Okay. Discover the secret message by placing the names of Scoggins missing residences in the order they disappeared. Okay. Boy, discover a secret message by putting the names of the missing residences. So, do they mean missing residents? Like, these missing people? Okay. It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town, because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that means until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this oh, note into town okay. and find out what these names have in common. That was an impossible to solve puzzle. I got you. Okay, so that puzzle was not supposed to be solved by me. That makes way more sense now. Way, way more sense. And hey, we've got some friendly locals. I 
along with unfriendly locals. I seem to remember that angry fellow.